finished on that side of Cloud9. Just about finished up on the side of LMQ. Here's the siege, though. Yeah. How quickly will Cloud9 initiate? They're trying to flank. Oh, fine! Oh, High gets it in for himself. He goes right into the fight. What an absolute zero from Medios. Moore is tripping on his own feet to get out of this one, and High picks up a double kill with a self initiate. Really? 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 Playing the game like that. They're going to just put it right out there for LMQ and say, We are testing you. Are you going to approach? It looks like they have just too much damage consume, and then the smite from Meteos. 20 minute Baron going over to Cloud9 as they make a beautiful. If they can break that all the way down to the inhibitor, this will be two in a row, depending on how fast Balls is crushing down that turret. The bottom lane, Vasily takes about half his HP from a shot there. Whoa, uh -oh. hi, a little crazy in this situation. He is going to get out of oh, life, though, because look at this. More people to the party. Cloud9. Poke comp try from LMQ. We did call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, we didn't see Xiao Wei Xiao, but Balls did, and the team was ready to act. Uh, right there, kind of lets LMQ know they're on the Baron Pit, but can they even make it through these three? Oh, a great shield. They're going to pull off. High could get an ultimate for himself here. He has it up. They were charging it on Baron. They knock him out of the way, unfortunately, but they're still getting the, the kills on this. A nice shield, or wind wall, rather. There's a minion wave. Going. There's one dash. Joshua's There's two friend. and three. No name's going to be hit up. He has the Guardian Angel. Oh. Can he get Vasily and the team to stay? Or I'd say the Baron helps a little bit more. If they can get this, they're going to be taking damage all the time there at these next turrets. But they're also going to be taking a lot of pressure here from LMQ. Baron. Oh, Balls is behind. Down to about 3,000 health. Balls coming in from behind. And that is going to be the TP. See you later coming in. Double kill for Balls. Baron gets taken down by Meteos. And Cloud9 tuck gunning for the front door. Always with the flank attacks. They are not letting LMQ set up their artillery. They're just going right behind them and taking out the trebuchets where they lie. Very nicely played throughout. Consistency and keeping their eye on the goal. Cloud9 yet to make a mistake and falter with a death in this game. They're going to be taking down the first inhibitor turret. 10 to 0. Now the inhibitor at a 16,000 gold lead. They are running amok. In it feels like at this point, to it. LMQ can't even win a 3v5. No. In a lot of ways. You can see it when they're approaching the Baron Pit. Like they almost died without Meteos or High there. That turret's done for. Yeah, you said it in the beginning of the game, if LMQ fell behind, this was going to be one of the hardest games they've faced in the NALCS Summer Split. And the next inhibitor will be going down. The brute force of Cloud9, just utterly too much for LMQ to handle. Yeah, they're gonna be going for inhibitor number three. The minion wave is, of course, cooperating. <laughs> Cloud9 set it up that way. LMQ needs to try and fight, but they can't really initiate with their tools right now. And a great use of wind walls as well to shut down the attack that would come from the siege. I think it might be the first time we saw Xiao Wei Xiao ult in this game. He hasn't had the opportunity. He wants to use it to secure kills. That time he picked up a few minions. 10 to 0. Cloud9 looking for a shutout. Will LMQ be able to squeeze out a kill here? High goes deep. Will he die in the fire? He is burning right now, but somehow he's got some fire retardant clothes on and he stays alive. 12 to 0. 33 minutes on the clock. The Nexus in the eyes of Cloud9, and so is the win. Whoa.